Welcome to Minity Maths. In this video we are going to look at lines of symmetry. Subscribe to the channel for more maths videos. So, what is symmetry? Well, we see examples of symmetry every day but may not realize it. Reflections of trees in the water, wings of a butterfly, and even humans for example. It is a part of geometry, nature, and shapes. In maths, symmetry refers to shapes which are identical on both sides. A line of symmetry is a line that cuts a shape exactly in half, having one side that exactly mirrors the other side. A line of symmetry may also be called the mirror line, or axis of symmetry. So, if you were to fold the shape along the line, both halves would match equally. The same would apply if you were to place a mirror along the line. The reflection and the half should form the whole shape, unchanged. This is, not, a line of symmetry. This is because if we were to place a mirror along this line, the shape would no longer look like the original shape. This, is a line of symmetry. So, can we have more than one line of symmetry per shape? The answer is yes, some shapes have more than one line of symmetry. If a shape has one or more lines of symmetry, then it is a symmetrical shape. If there are no lines of symmetry, it is an asymmetrical shape. Have a look at these two shapes, one of them is symmetrical, and the other is asymmetrical. Can you identify which one is which? Let's look at these triangles. Equilateral triangle and the isosceles triangle have lines of symmetry, so they are each symmetrical. The scalene triangle does not have any lines of symmetry, so it is asymmetrical. Have a look at these regular polygons and their lines of symmetry. Do you notice a pattern here? Well, a regular polygon will have the same number of lines of symmetry as the number of sides. Have a go at these practice questions, stating if the images are symmetrical or asymmetrical, and how many lines of symmetry there are. It may help drawing the images out and folding them in half, or using tracing paper. That's all for now. Thanks for watching Minity Maths.